right? 16 points versus the Cardinals, 10 points versus the 49ers, 23 points versus the Eagles, which they probably should have won that game if they if the field was, you know, three feet shorter, they would have won that game. Um, the Buffalo Bills game, they put up 10 points, and then the Dolphins, they put up 20 points. So uh, it, it's, it's basically like a perfect storm when the Cowboys – lose slash go on the road right it is it's just a perfect storm like the defense isn't playing as good as they do and the offense kind of stumbles like a like a like a little bit but it is what it is and speaking of the dallas cowboys guys the dallas cowboys have been the very topic of this main show it seems seems like so we're going to ask this question factor crap hoffy are the dallas cowboys the bullies of the nfc because when we look at the dallas cowboys they have beaten teams like the Giants, Jets, Patriots, Panthers, and the Commanders twice by 30-plus points. In the games versus the Eagles, the Lions, the the uh, the Dolphins, and the Bills, they don't quite win by that large of a margin, right? Now, you can say the Eagles, they did beat them down 33-13, to 13, but it's still no 30 points. When we look at it, when the Cowboys win, they win big. So, Hoffie, is it fact or crap that the Dallas Cowboys are the bullies of the NFC. It is an absolute crap. The bullies are my San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Why? Because they beat the shit out of the bullies of the NFC, and that is the Dallas Cowboys. Hmm. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Okay. And the best beat the best. So... 49ers are the bullies of the NFC. They are the one seed, and I'm going to say that the, you know, the Ravens are the bullies of the AFC, but the 49ers beat the Eagles. They beat the Cowboys. Um, you know, the, the Cowboys, they beat the Cardinals both times. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals, so no. I understand that the Cowboys probably have more wins as far, you know, bigger lopsided wins than what the 49ers have, but when you, you know, when the 49ers, the Eagles, and the Cowboys have all faced each other, and those are kind of the powerhouse, you know, powerhouse teams, I don't think the, the 49ers and the Lions didn't face off, so we can't kind of go off of that. But um, you could look at the 49ers, the Eagles, the Lions, the Cowboys as the four, you know, probably the four best teams. You have the Chargers that are one of the hottest teams coming in. But, um, you know, and again, the, the 49ers beat them. The first time they played, they lost them the second time, but they were with, you know, Sam Darnold, no CMC. So that's, you know, that doesn't really count. But no, I think the 49ers are the bullies of the NFC. So when you look at the San Francisco 49ers wins over this particular season, right? Their biggest win came over the Philadelphia Eagles, 42 to 19 in a second, in a close second place that the Dallas Cowboys, 42 to 10. But in those other wins over the, Buccaneers, the Seahawks, the uh, the Commanders, they were all, you know, 10 to 14 point games. So what does this tell me? This tells me that when the Dallas Cowboys click, they are a very, very unstoppable force, like I said yesterday. When the Cowboys win, their defense scores, their special team scores, and their offense scores. How many defensive touchdowns do the San Francisco 49ers have this season, Hoffy? Any idea? Defensive touchdowns? Defensive two. touchdowns this season. Any idea how many that they have? Google two. it real quick for, or for, or for me, Hoffy. What does the old Google machine say? I can tell you it's not as many as the Dallas Cowboys in three games. They have one pick six. <laughs> Bland has seven. And they have zero fumble returns for touchdowns. So I guess they have one. So they have one touchdown. The whole defense has one defensive touchdown for the San Francisco 49ers. One player for the Dallas Cowboys has seven. Seven, Hoffy. Three more he would have had Miss Davis's touchdowns. Wrap your head around that. You know who Miss Davis is? You should. If you don't, you don't. Listen, the Dallas Cowboys are the bullies of the NFC. When they click, they click, and nobody can stop them. 
The 49ers can't stop them. The Lions can't stop them. The Ravens can't stop them. The Packers can't stop them. Nobody is stopping the Dallas Cowboys when they play a nice, complete game. The San Francisco 49ers can play a nice, complete game. And yes, they can beat the Philadelphia Eagles 42 to 19. <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles won one of their last six. Way to beat a losing team, right? Oh, we can't say there's a losing team because they still got 10 wins, right? But look at the relevance. The, the, the relevance of it is that the Dallas Cowboys are better than the San Francisco 49ers. So therefore, the Dallas Cowboys are the bullies, Hoffy. Jeez. They are not better than the Niners. Tell, tell me why. Let their asses kick no, no, no. head to head. Okay, in week in week five, when the Dallas Cowboys had four offensive linemen down, and uh, and uh, Trayvon Diggs went down the Thursday before that game, Dallas got obliterated by the the Cardinals in a quarterback that I don't even think he's going to be in the league next year. He's going to be working for NASA. Um, the 49ers beat them twice. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did the uh, Niners lose? Two back-to-back games to non-playoff teams and the Vikings and the, the Bengals, right? The Bengals at that time had a healthy Joe Burrows. Um, and your point is what? Did they still lose to a non-playoff team in Cincinnati Bengals? Did they lose to a non-Minnesota Vikings team, uh, non-playoff team, back-to-back weeks? Did the Both Cowboys lose the back-to-back weeks to non-playoff teams? With their backup quarterbacks. 